uh, transform, scale and rotate, and put 200. And now he's bigger, perfectly. The way you better do this this way, because if you do it manually and you're gonna and you and you wanna put a different sprite in, it's gonna be hard to match the proper size. So it's just better to just put 200 in a scale and rotate thinking. So anyway, now that he's this big, we're gonna go to convert this to a symbol. Now, there's something I didn't. This is what I didn't tell you in the last tutorial. There's a difference between graphic and movie clip. I thought graphic didn't work for anime, but it does. And here's the difference. Let's just say this was a movie clip symbol. Okay, I'm gonna press OK. In the movie clip symbol, you can. Um, it, hold up. Wait, let's just go inside. Let's press edit and go inside the symbol to edit it. You can use action scripting. You're not ready for action scripting yet, but it's going to be something you might you want to use later. You're going to be able to use ap action scripting. And what else can you use? Yeah, you can use filters. Filters are cool. And I'll tell you what that is later, but again. Those are the benefits to movie clips. The only downside is, well, I'll show you. First, let's add, let's let's edit this, edit, and that's. I'll tell you what the downside is later. See, the problem is here. They're all stuck together. You're gonna have to uh, break it apart. Before you would usually go to modify bitmap and bitmap and trace bitmap with the settings. The thing here, this might make those sprites higher quality. Look, for example, when you resize them, it still looks on. It still looks pretty and stuff. And even if you turn them, it looks pretty and not gay. The thing is that, oh, maybe it's just for me, but when you trace the bit back, um, the file size might increase more. Than you would if you broke apart, and that's when you were breaking apart. It is pretty soon, and also it might cause a lag. Um, um, if you trace bitmap, it's, um, there's a higher chance you'll get lag in your flash if your computer can't handle it, or if it's, there's too much going on at once. So this is why this is the bad that's the bad part about tracing bitmap. Now let's undo that. Press Control Z. Control and Z to undo, and let's undo too, and go back to before we even trace the bitmap. And now it's back. What you could, what I usually do because of this, unless I want to edit the sprite in Flash or make it high quality or something, I um break apart. And here's what, and breaking apart, you can either right click it, break apart, or just press Control B. I just press Control B. This is kind of like tracing the bitmap, only you won't get a file size increase, or you will, and you won't get any lag at all from doing this. The only problem is that if you say let's um turn it, it's gonna look all nasty. It's not gonna be a vector anymore. So look how nasty and horrible it is. You're an abomination, horrible creature. Anyway, um, yeah, but it's most. It's not that big of a deal, at least not to me. And it's worth the not, uh, it's worth the not file size and lag, the non that you'll get. So, yeah, you're gonna uh, you're gonna get this whole ugly black thing. I'll tell you how to get that off real quick. I'm just gonna magic wand tool. Uh, I'll be lasso tool. Click on the magic wand tool, and just press in any space there, and it'll and press backspace, and everything's gonna be gone. So, there. Click on the frame, and there, it's gone now. Maybe a little spots, but that's not gonna matter much. <laughs> okay, first things first. I need to take the very first pose, which is gonna be this one. Just delete all the rest. So select them. We'll just select tool. It's just the normal mouse tool. It's gonna get all white dots. That just means it's selected. Press cut or copy and then delete. I just press cut. I'm gonna copy automatically. So just press cut. I'm gonna move this to the little, the center of the cross thingy, and that's the first frame. Good. You press onions. Oh yeah. First, you order insert blank keyframe, 
is gonna be gone and you're not gonna see it so it's gonna be harder online just press the little onion skin tool and you're gonna briefly see what was on the um, previous frame so that you easy for you to align them together now pick the other one in place don't worry about this just press don't replace and this is gonna come up you zoom in I don't care how much time consuming it is you gotta make sure it's perfect now make sure you align this perfectly you want to make sure no sprite is too is higher than the last not one little pixel zoom in all the way if it helps and it will not one little pixel there now to make sure it's in the right spot you move it to the right you I usually just know by instinct right away where the next one should be but for you guys I'm gonna align the nose just I use the arrow keys to move left and right and drop it down it's a lot easier instead of using the mouse it's gonna be a bigger hassle if you use the mouse freaking sick yo okay now that's good All right. use zoom out you can either press control minus or use the the zoom in tool right here and you press and you just zoom out you take the rest now now that that's there you take the rest cut it again do the same thing again insert a blank keyframe on your skin is already on so and then you paste in place don't press ok and just use the arrow keys to move to the right which is what I do it makes it a lot easier zoom in make sure everything is correct I, I just like to make sure it's perfect and yeah uh, so. uh, go away and repeat until everything is oh my god repeat until everything is done I'll be back oh my god not again do we seriously have to do this again are you serious just press okay I'm back <sighs> sorry I had a um pause for something anyway let's continue where we left off uh, where did we leave off right aligning and making this running animation dingy so yeah let's continue I'm gonna just fast forward to this part a little because this video is already way too long and YouTube limits so you know uh, okay